and um, has got canceled three times, man. Three times. Um, I'm not going to say who did it or who's doing it. Three times, man. Um, it's like, uh, it's crazy, man. So uh, I wanted to give her a shout out. And uh, when I get the new channel, the fourth one, the fifth one, I'll, I'll share it. I've done it before. What's happening, everybody? White Boy Radio. Go ahead and smash that subscribe if it's your first time here. And if, it's, if you're a returning subscriber, I appreciate you. Just smash it like. If you can, look below and hit the member section, man. It really does help. Look, man, uh, Natasha Cooper. Whew. So give y'all an update on Natasha. I did speak with her, uh, I don't know, about a week ago. And that clip in the beginning was from a live, my la uh, last, a few lives ago. Um, to get more detail in it, um, you know, it's... Uh, I want to give people a update on her. You know, this thing here is something I don't understand. Okay. Um, what it is, is they keep canceling her, keep canceling her and, uh, she'll make a channel. Okay. And it will get canceled, make another channel and it will get canceled. Now, a lot of you might not know, not know who Natasha is. And a lot of you do, uh, whether you favor her or you don't, uh, that, just leave that alone for a minute because this is a, it's, this is a very weird thing here. This is cancel culture at its finest. Okay. And, uh, in, you could say true crime, even though some of the content she does is kind of true kindness and, and maybe more so trauma, if you will. But, uh, and so however you look at it, right. Um, I do know that she had a big true crime channel at some time. Now it's funny. Uh, it's funny of all people. Who, who to, to stick up for her right now is me um, because I was somebody that I had an issue with her in the past. Um, I had an issue with her in the past. Okay. Uh, we had done the videos like that, the negative ones. And uh, look at the end of the day, it's just like when I was a kid, when I was a kid, sometimes you get in a fight with somebody, even as an adult. And after the fight, after the fight, you make up and, and you become cool. And you wonder why, like, you were even fighting to begin with. And I'll even go as far as to say YouTube itself has showed me that on the political way of things. You know, on my uh, Instagram, I used to be very uh, outspoken for um, a political party. Uh, I used to be very outspoken and, and um, kind of spiteful towards a, one, a, um, one political party. But when you communicate with people, you realize you have way more in common with them than you do a difference. Okay. And that is my point for Natasha. Now I'm doing this video because this is going to be her fourth channel. She's been canceled three times now. Every now and then on my Twitter feed, because of these videos on YouTube that I do, every now and then I get involved in a retweet of... Of, of the certain drama that's going on and and i'm not calling it drama if you're part if you're someone who has retweeted me i'm not speaking negative to you i'm just trying to explain it as far as i know but um what it is is i'll, I'll get retweeted re uh, i'll be in a tweet that gets retweeted and what it is is the person who is currently attacking natasha's uh, now channel okay and I just don't understand why people are doing this. And, he, and here's what I mean. They got rid of her big channel and she made another one and it grew not to where she was. You're never going to be as that successful. Someone's channel gets taken. You could have a hundred thousand subs. If you make if you try to make another one and think you're going to have a hundred thousand in a week, you're crazy. You'll be lucky to have 12,000. So she made another channel, but it didn't do as well, but it was, you know, she rebuilt herself and then there's a tax again. The point is, what, what is the logic here? Because when Natasha's on the internet and you could see her and go to her live stream or her channel or comment on a video, 
she's there on the internet. She's present. When, she, when she's off the internet, what are you to talk about? What are you to talk about? There's some channels in whatever genre, uh, especially here in true crime, where they, all they do is go at one person, go at one person, go at one person. It's like you become obsessed. What happens when that person's gone? What, where, where, what content do you have? I can think of about 10 channels right now that would be dry for content if one person was gone off the internet. But what happens is you continually attack you, you would, if, if your channel is based off one person or you're always talking about one person, you would kind of want them to kind of be on the internet a little bit. So you'd have some content to talk about, right? These people aren't thinking right. And it's not like, it's not about any of that. You know, people on the internet, especially crime, we have a real, we have a real chance to replace media if we all got along put together all our thoughts together instead of hating on each other. If we all came together, man, we could be powerful. You know, in these tweets, there are uh, numerous people and I'm not going to name everyone that's attacking Natasha, but I'll, I'll show you one person and uh, it's going to make you scratch your head. Look what I just got in the mail. I got a cease and desist letter from Noodle Mash. Okay. All right, because it's Sunday and I uh, do believe in Jesus, I'm not going to say anything mean. Uh, I'm not even going to. I'm not even going to say who that creator was or who the other ones are that are ganging up on him. Um, you know, the the drama views, man, they're good for about all of a video. They go away. You know, do this, make a drama video and then try your hardest to make your own creative video. See if you get the same amount of views. You won't. White boy. Okay. We get the point. What, where are you going with this? Here's where I'm going with this people. I talked to her, you know, and, uh, look, YouTubers, man, especially in true crime, we could be bigger. Combined, man. Combined. Networking together. The the negativity, the the uh, extremity of attacking channels like that, it's too much. I understand if one of us goofs off, if one of us does something extreme, if one of us does something stupid, yes, it's to be called out, talked about, but uh, is it like to this, to this, is it, is it to this? Severe, it shouldn't be this severe. It shouldn't be this level of, um, you know, cancellation and all this grouping up. We should, it's, it's, it's ridiculous, you know? Um, and listen, sometimes networking works, you know? And where I'm going with this is this, you know? There's many channels that are involved in each time she's getting canceled. And I'm not here to smear you. I'm not here to talk crap about you. I'm not here to uh, put you down. Okay, I'm here to tell you uh, a simple message. I was in your shoes before, okay? I had a problem with Natasha, right? I had a beef with her, right? We did the videos, right? But we got over it. I never attacked her. I never wanted to can't. I was mad at her, yeah. I was fighting with her subscribers, all that good stuff. But I never wanted to cancel her out, okay? Never, never crossed my mind. And, and I even got over the fact uh, of us having that. Now, in between of that negative aspect, I actually met somebody. I actually met somebody in networking through trying to resolve the negativity. I met somebody and to this day remain very good friends with them too. Now, both Natasha and the person that's going to be in the end of this video reside in Florida. And I'm all right with both of them, but I'm going to, I'm going to end this video with my message to you saying networking is bigger than beefing and cancellation, man. Stop attacking this lady's channel. Okay. Stop. Now watch. I was in your shoes and then I put it behind us, right? And through networking, 
So I'm gonna let I'm gonna leave this video out on a positive note. And this is what this is what happened through that. Take what you want from it. It's White Boy Radio, man. Hashtag free Natasha. And uh we'll catch y'all on the next one. And shout out to the creator I'm about to play. Much love. To my members, to my subs, love y'all and even my haters. Let's watch the ending clip. I have an announcement that I want to make. We have some really special people that I've met on YouTube. And these people, these two individuals, I want to give them a shout out because one of them just came into the chat. And these two people have never asked me for a damn thing. Not a collab, not a mention, not a, hey, can you share this? Or, hey, I'm, I want information on this and that. And then turned on me, never. When I say never, I say, I mean never. So I'm talking about White Boy Lockdown Radio, a.k.a. Matt and his beautiful, lovely wife, Damaged Goods with No Regrets, a.k.a. Noel. These people have always been kind to me when they didn't have to be kind to me. They didn't even have to talk to me. And you know what? They do. They reach out and they don't make it known, but they do care. And it's so genuine, you can't fake that. So I want to let everybody know, if you're going to subscribe to somebody... These people are actually genuine. So look, man, when I fell out with Natasha, I needed somebody to relay the message that I'm coming in peace. And what I said was with honesty and truth. So I reached out to Jay is for justice. My point is, man, look, you can make it being real. You can make it without the drama. It's not hard. Networking is way better than drama. YouTubers will never be as big as the media if we continue to cancel one another. Man, Fox News and CNN do not love each other, but you don't see them canceling each other. I'm just saying. Till the next one.